right, we're back. Just me tonight. Okay. There. And now I can next level theoretically start one of these trees. Witcher, we're waiting. Your witch's ass is gonna have to get wet. Jump! Mm, oh. Which way am I going? Water's colder. Any news from your secret inform? Is that better than what I've got right now? Yes. The port's blocked. Some merchants are being held up for months. What about roads through the forest? Yorveth rules the forest. Forest? Very funny. But who does it belong to? Yorveth, maybe? I know more about the Pontar Valley than you think. For instance, I know that Foltest stole this land from Demavend a few years back. I believe you had a hand in that. Hear that? I smell an elf. That's Vernon Roach, Special Forces Commander for the last four years, servant of the Temerian King, responsible for the pacification of the Mahakaman foothills, hunter of elves, murderer of women and children, twice decorated for valor on the field of battle. Yorver, a regular son of a whore. I've long awaited our meeting. Lay plans, set traps, and now you appear in my forest of your own volition. You aided the man who slew my king. King or beggar, what's the difference? One dwan less. Uh... Since when did the Scoia'tael hire professional killers to do their dirty work? A dwan, even. You've fallen low. A hired killer, true. But in all certainty, he is no dwan. Don't make a big deal of the race thing. Yet race is the very reason we fight. We have pointed ears, yours are rounded. We are few yet long-lived. Your kind multiplies like vermin, though thankfully expires quickly. Humans and elves alike, trying to prove one shape is better than the other. 400 years of killing over the mold of the Oracle. 
the Kingslayer's among you. We've come for him. Then our interests collide. The Kingslayer is under my protection, and I'll not hand over a guest. You're just another old elf in a young elf's skin, using clever words to mask an obvious truth. Obvious, you say? This is not about race or freedom, or even vengeance. You're here because someone powerful told you to be. Someone who's using you. They may wear a crown, carry a magic wand, or even lead a guild. But be sure of this. It's not about your freedom, your rights, or your ears. Nilfgaard plowed you once. Now someone new does. Am I wrong? Those times are gone. No one will ever use the square tal again. Who are you addressing? Me? Yourself? Or the archers in those shrubs? Enough of this, Hess! Stanley! Discourage them. Triss, are you all right? Lovely. You should have charmed the archers. They're coming. Geralt, the spell's still working. Stay close. Tris is spent, so no more butterflies. Let's get the fuck out of here. Back to the boat? There's even more of them that way. We must fight our way toward Flotsam. Get your hands off my ass. Yorva! Who did you think it was? I'm not a sack of flour. Oh, hi. I'm your commandos. I'm a woman. I know, Tris. Yorva! At least I'll die holding a lovely ass. Not yeah. I'll hold the spell. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Stop shaking. Maybe walk faster. Hey, Are you all right? Yes, fine. Yeah. Ugh, sons of bitches. What's happening? All I see are your boots. Where the hell is that trading post? Yeah. I'm starting to think we'll make it. Wait. Get to Marino! Trace! Be quick! Give me a bit more magic. Just a little. Geralt, kill them now! Kill! Scoy and Salad Sake! Alarm! Squirrels! There's a mage among them! Ready yourselves! You know each other? Rather well. But he has amnesia. I actually took the Witcher by surprise when I killed Foltest. Fear not, Elf. I know Geralt. I know his weakness. Too many spells at once. You can die from that. See that? Yeah. The Kingslayer and Yorvith. You all in one piece? Who are you? I'm a witcher. Emirvar Emrys, spice merchant. A trader? You're really in going spices. with that name? Uh-huh. I'm the woman. My good man, we barely escaped death. Be so kind as to tell us where we might get some rest. We'll explain everything later. Very well. Head for the market square. You might be in time for the execution. Some ne'er-do-wells are going to hang. A dwarf and some bard. There's also an inn and a brothel. Oh yeah, the brothel sounds especially interesting. Take care now. Spice merchant. Did you say Unlikely. that? 
squirrels at our very wounds. Your vet led them. Hey, I saw Whitey. You Why'd your hair go white? I leveled up already? Okay. Uh. I don't really use repost much. A bunch of stuff in my inventory right now. I don't really need extra junk. <laughs> but I see you at the hanging, friend. Bah, some hanging. A bunch of non humans and a spy. I heard the spy's cowardly. You're a worldly man. Think he'll stay. where I'm going. Oh, it's over there. This way? Ah, uh, yep. Zoltan. Dandelion, my former. Just great. What's the plan? We improvise. No killing. We'll take care of this, Triss. Geralt! Geralt! Over here, help! Okay, hold on. I need to swap to that because I don't think I want to be setting people on fire over this. And let me save real quick. Dog catch ya. Okay. Step back, white one. Stand aside. I know those two, and I won't let them hang. Piss on who you know. The law says they're to hang. Carry on, and you'll join them. What are they going to hang for? They don't look dangerous. The charge is collusion with the Scoyotil. Dandelion, an elven spy? The bard's hanging for debauchery. What? The sentence was he's to hang for debauchery. And a sentence is nothing to scoff at! Yeah, no. I I'm don't just give gonna... a shit. Stop the execution. Careful, Wanderer! You could lose your tongue for that. I've heard of you and know you can fight, but you'll not take on the whole garrison. Oi, Tin Man, that's pure rubbish. You're talking to the famed Geralt of Rivia, you are. Commandant Laredo rules this town, and it's his orders I follow. Piss off, Jesters, before I have you beaten good. You're a disgrace to your uniform, you shitty little idiot. What? Hey, boys, lend me a hand here. Got an uppity little one that needs a thrashing. Take a swing, runt. I dare you. Can't turn that down. Get him! Kick you him in the balls! Freak. Want to squirm with the others? Look her out! Assaulted an officer! They'll hang anyway. Come on up. Got room for one more deviant. Next fight? Yeah. Look here, Al. Assaulted an officer. You freak. Want to squirm with the others? Look here, Al. Assaulted an officer. 
Not in an officer. Slap the mutant. That's it. Kick him in the balls. Beat the freak. Screwed up the second bit there. What the hell is going on here? I said, what the arse fuck is going on? Uh, uh, I'd like to re re report. Ha, 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 out of my sight, Clover. A few plowing bandits and you can't even hang them. And you, stay calm, hands off your sword. Our scaffold embraces speeches and hangings. Which will it be? Are you in command here? Forgive me. Bernard Laredo, commander of Port Flotsam. Yes, I rule this brothel. Your people started it. Short fuses, some of them. What do I care? They started, but you finished. I had to defend my friends. Will you release them? Terrible choice of friends, Witcher. I'd rather give you a thief. Relax. I'm joking. I hate thieves. We can put on another show. Bloody and serious this time, mind you. Or we can come to an understanding. Meaning? Give me a minute, Witcher. Listen here. You may have heard rumors of the tragic events that transpired during the siege of Lavalette Castle. Sadly, they are true. King Foltest is dead. It's likely that Scoyatel had a hand in this heinous murder. So you see, none of you can feel safe. Kick him. That is why today, wagons with armaments will roll out into Flotsam streets. I hereby declare a state of emergency. Await orders. Prepare to fight. And ready yourselves to avenge your fallen king. Oh now disperse. God, this is gonna be a bloodbath. Go to your homes. What about them? They'll not hang for now. Let's say I'm reconsidering their cases. The scaffold's no place for civil conversation. We'll talk at my home. Your friends are free for the time being, but they're not to leave town. Come after dusk. <laughs> I'll be busy till then. There's one more thing. Welcome to Flotsam, Witcher. They were really going to hang us. I, I don't know. I didn't mean to torch that watchtower. Everything's all right, Dandelion. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, we owe. We owe you, Geralt. Thank you. Time to hit the tavern. Come on down the line, you need a stiff drink. And while we're at it, I'll tell you an edifying tale of local hypocrisy that conceals lechery neath a veneer of courtesy. Except nothing can hide the stench. Hmm, notice board. Might find something interesting here. I've got the window shrunk a little bit so that I can record it a little easier, but it makes the text so fucking tiny. Thank you. 
for the textures to pop in. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep! Vodka! Tris Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. The Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. I would be Poppin' Law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. Enkeep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine. Not chase his fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says, then proceeded to slop two full bowls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Okay, the dragon, dragon first. Well, the dragon appeared, and that's all I know. But where did the La Villettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltest might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored, and drop it. You know how he is. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia, tells Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia Tell don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia Tell. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lambs with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. 
Why, well, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye, where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited, neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Welcome. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Kraken? Is there a river Kraken? There's a river Kraken! I thought the poster was an exaggeration! What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. All right. What happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To see it in all its splendor. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Maybe that'll work. Right, we've dawdled hey. enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it, and come on! God, your voices are so loud. I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher. Are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville. 
Advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that? Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood. All those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Kran emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Mar always said, go ask the mason to take you to the friend. To learn it from a wizard. Don't tell me you're like it, you know? Not really, it's a shithole. But plenty of folk to beat up. Do I have a map? I do. Hey. Let's see what's in the shops for now. You free? No, working my ass off like a stagecoach. Open the door. That. Oh, shit. Uh. Okay, it's frozen up. It might fix itself. Uh. Where did it last auto save? Because I didn't save after I met everybody on the dock. Nope, it crashed. Cool. Okay, one minute. <laughs> By the way, here's this that I didn't get last time, which I don't think I've ever sat and watched the whole way through.
ice bomb. Nice. Okay, where did it autosave? Here. This works. Okay. Like you I said, break. not now, gonna be doing anything stage quest essential just yet. I wanna have a look around, get the lay of the land, and maybe see if there's anything interesting in some of the shops, if I can find a way into them. No offense, but uh, you're scaring my customers away. Okay, that is a shop of some description. Oh, these just don't have anything on them. closer, do they? Okay, I'm gonna try that door again. And maybe... They pinch my ass and don't even leave a tip. Maybe you aren't open it this time? Well, well. I had an inkling and it didn't disappoint me. It was a long voyage to this cesspit, but it's about to make sense. Old Test's killer, live and in person. How are you? Happy and healthy? Can't complain. I am delighted, really. But you see, it's a long way back to Vesima, and I'd rather not dawdle. I lost a load of time looking for you. No reason to waste any more talking, then. Bon voyage. Listen, Jester, you're worth more to me alive, but if need be, I will take you back as a corpse. You choose. All right, give it a shot. Drop your sword and put your hands together, or I'll not vouch for what... Shut up. Go ahead, try to kill me. No need to fear those witches' tricks! I've got a turtle stone! <laughs>
Well, that doesn't make any sense. So how's it going, dear? Everything all right at the household? <laughs> Youngster screaming in dates in the old man. Blossom's got a garrison. We don't need a witcher. Welcome to my modest shop. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. here for a little bit just trying to earn the money for all these different formulas. What can I conceivably sell to you? should be the worst of what I'm carrying that I want to get rid of. What do you deal? All kinds of in for me. I didn't mean to talk to you again. I wanted out. Okay. So how's it going, dear? 
Everything all Greetings. Right. Mind if I take a look at what you have in stock? Certainly. You're welcome to. I'm Fioravanti, a merchant. Not to be nosy, but weren't you hired to kill the Kairan? I've had my fill of this place, and I'll be glad when the blockade <laughs> is finally lifted. Lorita won't let you traitors out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend. And I tell you... Demavend's dead. Ah. Now, if you don't mind, can we get down to business? What do you have? Hmm. That one's kind of important. <laughs> the youngster screaming in daytime, the old man moaning at night. <laughs> and how do you find company? Was it worth it? Marrying in a day? Here comes the witcher. Do you agree? No, I... I don't know. Do we just walk up and ask him like that? My prices stay as they are, and I'll not join your guild. Period. I urge you to be considerate. I don't give a shit about your guild. I'll not join that racket nor change my prices. My weapons are superior, and that's how I aim to keep it. Shame. Please think it over. The guild helps and protects. No, no, put that away. I wanted to look over my quests, and I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. Because I don't want to do that just yet. To play soldiers and squirrels. I just want to look and see what quests I have picked up. I can't remember anymore. <laughs> there was a troll, and there were some neckers, and there's the kraken thing. Karen? Whatever they're calling it. 
My one complaint so far is that the game will not tell me how what all the controls are. <laughs> it told me the ones essential for combat, and that's about it. Just lovely. Okay, that leads out. My friend. A fine mess you have here. Dwarves stealing bread from the mouths of honest Where might you be going? Uh, what kind of question is that? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. The merchants are paying good money for killing the beast. Coin is never the most important thing. Maybe, but it's still pretty useful. I don't trust her. Sheila? Why not? She's a powerful sorceress. Dangerous to her foes, even more dangerous to her friends. I know you don't like her. Any specific reason? I'm just trying to warn you. Thanks. I guess I'll have to ask her. How? We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. I wasn't planning to do this. I wanted to just look around a bit. And then maybe go fight the troll. No, I'm, I'm going to walk away from this for now. One You'll betray no one else, Elvin, bitch. I don't know what you're talking about. What's going on here? This whore's a Scoyatel spy. Any evidence? What's it to you? Easy. She loiters around the garrison, kicking us. Roderick says he bound her, but I don't believe that. I did! That's your evidence? Two of our lads are missing. Last seen with... I only spoke to them. Then they went off towards the caves. That's all I know. The bitch is lying. She led them into an ambush. This ought to be easy enough to resolve. Look inside the caves. But they're crawling with all sorts of filth. I'll do it. But you'll pay me. Wait for me at the harbor. Okay. Let's go do that.
Oh, that's the watchtower. It's really raining now. The caves would be. I wish I could change what quest is being tracked. That'd be nice. Slaughter the freaks! an icon that shows up and I don't know if it's oh it's just loading where am I going okay I'm here oh that looks like kraken territory but that might be a cave. I'm just gonna end up bumbling into the main quest, aren't I? Okay, it's just a broken bridge. That's really cool looking though. Okay. So south it is. with a small ledge, please.
How many more can there be? Thank you, Master. Drives me mad. This cursed wood is full of scum, and that horse has lost his mind. Who might that be? The troll! For years he's been collecting tolls at the bridge, for which he's to keep the bridge tidy and drive away the scum. What's the problem, then? Merchants from the port sent me to find out the what and why, seeing as this is the only path out to the port inland. But I found the bridge in ruins, and that cheeky cocksucker asked for liquor to let me pass! Across that pile of rubble, I says, and he smacks me so hard I see stars. Laredo's put a price on his head. If Laredo had his way, he'd cut us off from the world, that son of a bitch. We need a bridge, but a working one. And we need a troll, but a sober one. If you're looking to make some coin, hold off on killing the troll and see the village chief instead. He'll tell you all you need to know. Okay. Ooh, don't crash on me now, game. Oh, wait, there was a... Right, this thing. Oh, okay. Ah! That's that. Then I guess the next route is oh, down that way. Heck yeah. <laughs> Which is covered in bear traps for some reason. Guess they'll never learn. Give me the silver one. snare and these oh what are these the caves
trap. One of those quests was for Necronest. Somebody else out here fighting. That's a lot. <laughs> I think I'm about at the point where there's not going to be a mob of them. Probably. Oh, jeez, no. Some help, finally. I thought I was done for. What's wrong? I'm fine, but my friend remains in that damned hospital. I'm Rupert Brandhuber. I'm a medic from Edda, and I came here with a friend to look for a very rare species of herbs. These woods aren't the best place for herb picking. So we were warned, but the temptation was too great. We got as far as the site of the fire. No sign of herbs, but there was something downstairs. Something. What's that? Can you hear it? That's Grindley's dog. Feel that? Something approaches. Help us! We're just gone. Oh, I cannot dogs <laughs> gone and bit it because I didn't know where I was going and I still don't know where I'm going where did you go? where did the 
guy I was just standing next to you go. Find my companion, I beg you. Sure. Yeah, no, this is coming with me. Oof. Okay. There's the dog. Loops around. Okay. Can I climb up here? Sorry about that, that was just one of my roommates. Things trying to sound so They should not have done it. Madder than those here they were. Oh, the green! Can't climb back up. Do I just roam through the fire? I could probably do that without dying. <clears throat> nope. Just knocks me back. Here were innocents, and I. I'm not about to play with fire. Four, twelve, fever, shakes, dilated pupils. Has there been any stool?
stone. Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. I'm in pain. I beg you, help. Give me some medicine. They deserve to suffer. I'm in pain. I beg you, help. Give me some medicine. The flock. It's moving. It's creeping towards me. towards me. Lee! Lee! Leave me be! Away with you! Control yourself. It's not my fault. It wasn't me, not me. What's not your fault? Fire. Fire everywhere. It wasn't meant to happen. I didn't want that, I swear. Won't get much out of you until I calm you down. Maybe the fire didn't consume everything. Maybe I can find some medicine. A sedative. I get a map of this place too. How many more can there be?
What's going on? Where am I? Easy. Rupert asked me to find you. Rupert? Ifs. Listen, you and your friend. I don't get it yet, but you aren't telling the truth. That's painfully apparent. This place seems to have a very dark past, one you had a hand in. Do you understand me? Y yes Great. So now you can tell me the story and don't skip a thing. S story There's always a story, Gridley. Spit it out. Oh. We're former soldiers, fought for Eden during one of the wars with Nilfgaard, times long past. I was Rupert's adjutant in the field hospital that our unit set up in this manor house. We didn't at all mind who lived here. In fact, the inmates were friendly. At the outset, that is. One day our scouts captured a Nilf guardian. He was desperate to win his freedom and claimed he was part of a detachment that had concealed the booty looted in Edda. We couldn't believe our fortune. Thought the gods had smiled upon us. We'd heard incredible tales of this treasure, questioned any black one we'd captured. It seemed all our efforts would finally be rewarded. We decided to make him talk. By torturing him? Our commander wanted to break him on the wheel, but Rupert said he knew a better way. There's a local herb. If you brew and drink it, you can only tell the truth. The commander interrogated the prisoner drawing a map in the process, and we celebrated, talked of how we would divide the treasure, and took ever greater liberties with the patients. The priest looking after them began to protest, and one of our boys split his head open. Nice, Gridley. Keep talking and I just might let you go alive and intact. What happened next? Once the prisoner revealed where the treasure was hidden, the commander had him quartered in front of the lunatics. They'd shown signs of madness before, but when they smelled blood, well, we could not control them. Many we simply had to cut down. I don't even know how the fire broke out. Any of the patients survive? A young woman we managed to pull from the burning building. She was nice, quiet and willing. Two nights later, she slit our commander's throat, and that was all we saw of her, and of the map, of course. The war was ongoing, and shifting fronts forced us to abandon our search for her soon after. And here you are, back after many years. Really think you can still find her around here? Life's not treated me well since then, and Rupert's had it even worse. This is our chance to reverse our fortunes. Fate smiled upon us once. Perhaps by some strange chance, it still holds us in favor. <sighs> I wouldn't count on that. I think we're dealing with one heavy curse here. And it looks like we need to start by finding that Nilfgaardian's corpse. Go away! Lee! Go Lee! Away. Leave me be! Away with you! Oh, I'm just gonna save real quick. Okay, that's a dead end. A wolf leading wolves. What do you want, Spectre? Their deaths? Two of twenty return when none remain. Yet one shall judge them. If he is merciful, he will feed them to the dead. If he is cruel, he will grant them what they came for. A prophecy. I should have expected as much. Bring me their hearts so I may feast on their cowardice. Bring me their eyes, so I may spit in them before they are forever extinguished. Is that your offer? Fine. I'll lift this curse one way or another. Go away!
Okay. That's on fire, so I'm not going up that way. Hang on. Oh, there's that wheel again. Which makes sense, given how this guy died. chest already. There's nothing on the walls here. Go away! Geralt, you're gonna need to move over just a little. Go away! Is this the only one without windows? This is just a bunch of blood. Okay. But it's highlighted and I can examine it. So let's go away. No? Okay. Is it mine? No matter. Clean it. It's moving. It's creeping towards me. Okay, that's just because of the ghosts. It's, it's moving. It's creeping towards me. Some sort of tower shooting out a beam of light? Creeping towards me. Right, this is where I jumped down from up there. The floor is moving. And I met the Nilf Guardian's ghost. Let's find your comrade.
Gridley, you live. What happened down there? I found the ghost of the Emperor's soldier. You're the Witcher. Get rid of it. I mean... I'm gonna roll a dice. Evens, I give them to the ghost. Odds, I find a way to break the curse some other way. I kind of want to see if I can break the curse another way, so... Hmm. I feel... You know what? You know what? I'm gonna let this sit here for a minute while I Google this real quick. Because <laughs> there may be a more interesting thing if I go the other route with this. I should have had this up anyway, but... So it doesn't really matter, it seems. Well, I rolled even, so... I already have. Come on, let me show you something. Who do I see? Remember me? Corpse men. Remember how I was torn apart bit by bit. Remember what you did with the people of this house. You deceived us! 
Crimes require punishment, and only retribution can lift the curse. I leave them to you. I need you no more. Let the feast begin, boys! I took so long about that. <laughs> This is the room, that room, okay. So then, this way. Horribly lost trying to figure out where I'm going. Again. I have a map of this place, right? Okay, so that way. set of stairs is closed off. Okay, cool. Okay, now where am I on this? Here, there's all of this that I haven't explored yet. So let's go that way. It's the other edge of town, okay.
take that. Is the other door in the town? Here. Is the fight music still going when there's nothing here? to play soldiers and squirrels. I tell him, I'm taking your pouch. Or your pouch and your life. What did he say? He said, there's a third option. Reach his hand inch towards his knife. I think the stew's ready. What then? Why it will be to play soldiers and squirrels. Greetings, white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see, I'm looking for a certain formula. I'm no herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. On one hand, I'm curious. On the other hand, I don't dress like that. So, since I already have this open... I'm gonna just check something real quick. What is this even worth? This is all far-reaching stuff that I'm not sure I care about. I'll at least hear him out. Good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Can't go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly... popular. I think what he sells is harmful, yet I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways? I'll see what I can do. Working my ass off like a stagecoach.
probably the first time in a while I've had something overwrite the quest I was working on. Lads, I was thinking about what new boy. Uh, Workshop. Can I determine what quest I'm working on on my own, so I can figure out who to turn things into? That'd be nice. Silver ore, but I have enough of everything else. Nonsense. Just nonsense. Oh, um, yeah, that's just timber. Want to play soldiers and squirrels? Hello, neighbor. How are you? Become Rotten, the judge. As ever. I'm on my way to the That prick Laredo turned his nose up, eh? Ha! <laughs> You'd think he was faultiest himself, parading among his lessons. Don't try anything Glad stupid. The deal. True enough. Sometimes you just gotta grit your teeth and bite back later. journal. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go over here where I have at least a vague good idea of where everything is. And then I think I've been troubling me. 
I'm gonna call it for tonight. What does a bloody witcher actually eat? Next time, we'll see if I can figure out what I'm actually doing in this game. <laughs> see you then.